Hey, welcome to the techbreak.com podcast. This is episode 16 and we're at the Creative Tree House. And as you can see, we have a special guest this week. Hello. Jenny, why don't you introduce yourself to everybody? Um, I'm Jenny Roth. I'm here in place of Andy while he's out of commission this week and probably next week. Um, I blog at 37roses.blogspot.com and I'm here to talk to Kaylin tonight about blogging and social media. Yay, awesome! And then also, we have a little giveaway. So yes. There's um, always a giveaway <laughs> on the TechBird podcast. So and if you comment, you might be able to win. But we'll get to that in nice a little comments, bit. Nice comments, please. Yes, only nice comments. <laughs> and comments about my birthday, which is tomorrow. Happy birthday! Thank you! Big 22! <laughs> What made me start blogging? Everyone else is blogging, so why not start blogging? No. Um, a lot of my friends were bloggers, and I kind of was into their blogs. And, and, and I said earlier, um, I wanted to blog, but I didn't want to be anonymous. And mm -hmm. I always had that debate in my head, like, oh, I don't want people to know certain things about me. But, uh, you know, but finally I was just like, whatever, I'm going to blog, and I'm not going to be anonymous. I'm just doing it, you know. If you're gonna do it, do it, do it right, and that's what I do. I've been doing it since about February last year. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. So, I know I know the answer to this, and I know you guys love that I say that all the time. <laughs> um, do you keep track of every how many people no, follow you? No, I do not follow my hits, and and a lot of people are kind of shocked when they hear that. Um, some people have said, "Oh, you're a popular blogger. People link to you," and I'm like, "Well." I don't know, because I don't track my hits. And I and I was saying, I think if I track my hits, um, I would change what I was saying. My audience, um, I wouldn't. I would try to cater to the audience more so than myself. And I use the blogging as an art form more so than anything else. So why find out who your readers are and cater to them? That's kind of like my own subconscious mental thing. So, so if somebody came on your blog, what would they? see you talking about most of the time? Um, well, I do a lot of personal stuff lately. Um, it's basically just a mishmash of my life and what's going on, current events in Pittsburgh. I have a lot of Canadian readers. Hi! <laughs> um, <laughs> and just to let them know what's going on in Pittsburgh, um, because I read about things going on in Canada, so um, they should read about Pittsburgh now. Um, but <laughs> I, I write about personal stuff too. Um, yeah, it's just a bunch of different things when people say what do you blog about I don't really know what I blog about I can't say I blog about hockey all the time or like current events all the time it's all kind of different things so it's just my life <laughs> Aww, well, that's awesome so is it something that you think you're going to continue doing in the future how often Definitely. do you update um, I would say I try to post at least every day if not every other day um, unless I have totally nothing on my mind, but I always have something on my mind that I want to share with people, and whether they read it or not, I'm going to post it just to get it out, you know, an art form, So I'm an English major, I'm a writer, so that's what I do. <laughs> that's excellent. That's, that's interesting. Yeah. Because I, I think everybody should really stress the importance of the English language, because I really feel like not many people grasp it. <laughs> so it's probably frustrating. Yeah. But, um... Are you part of a blogging network? I um, am in Pittsburgh Women's Blogs. I'm a Pittsburgh Women's Blogger. Um, I don't always post to that site, but I am listed in, uh, as one, is one of the bloggers. Um, and just through social networking in Pittsburgh, you meet a lot of people. It's not really like a network website per se, mm -hmm. um, but blogging and reading other bloggers, and they link to you and you link to them, and you talk about the same things. It kind of forms a community all on its own, like a collaborative community that's always building, always growing. Um, that's kind of what I do. Oh, that's great. And okay, as far as feedback goes, I know you don't track hits, but do you encourage people to give you feedback? Do you uh, do you thrive on it like I do? No, no, I really don't. Like I don't. If someone comments, that's cool, and if they don't, that's cool. Kind of will make me say, oh, that's cool, I'm glad someone's reading and they have something to say, but at the same time, it's like, if they don't, I don't really care, because I'm doing it for myself, and I know what's going on in my head, and 
they're getting a little tiny glimpse of what's going on in my world. They obviously don't know me based on what I write, but they know something about what I want them to know. I don't know. It's a weird thing. It's hard to get into details. <laughs> so, um, if you were talking to someone like me, everybody knows I'm trying to start a blog just getting my fine details out there. Yeah. What would you tell somebody who was just starting to go out there and start publishing? Don't be afraid. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Because, like, if you're trying to put yourself out there, put yourself out there. But if you don't want to put yourself out there, don't even do it to begin with, I think. Um, yeah. If you're going to do it and be anonymous, what are you really saying? That's my opinion. That's so if you're going to do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Um, and don't do it for anyone else but yourself. <laughs> don't thrive on feedback. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like in my Facebook, I know, I'm like constantly checking like, who's loving me right now? <laughs> By the way, look for me. <laughs> Your friend request just went up like six or seven people, hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, as far as that goes, that's funny. Are you on MySpace or Facebook? Yes, I am. I'm on MySpace and Facebook. I don't use them that often. I, I've been Twittering a lot lately and um, using my blog and commenting on other people's blogs to stay in touch with people more so than, than anything else. Well, that is very good. That's very interesting. Yeah, the world of social media is pretty crazy right now. It's yeah. It's about to burst. Well, it has already erupted. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I can't believe how big everything keeps getting as far yeah. as that goes. It's crazy. Just yeah. even... I mean, even television shows like Nip Talk, they blog. <laughs> it's yeah, just exactly. Crazy. Exactly. But um, thank you for talking to us sure. about that. And we're going to talk about our giveaway for this week. We have the coolest MP3 player ever. <laughs> Look at this thing. Teeny tiny, so if you're like me and shove everything in your back pocket, you won't look like a weirdo anymore. And it's two gigs, so that's awesome in itself. So, let's just see how cute it is. Love it. Win it. <laughs> All you have to do is leave us a comment. Just, even if it's just how interesting we are. Or how how non-interesting we are. <laughs> <laughs> just leave a comment and get back to us. And... Have a great week. Happy yeah. Thanksgiving. Yes. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Eat lots of turkey because that's what I plan on doing. But until next time, check out the techbird.com blog and look out for some good stuff.